Hello everyone, I am Saif Khan. Today I will let you know how to install SQLite application in your mobile phones. Computer Science Examination. Um, that is very simple. You have to go to the Google and type a SQLite Manager. Just click on it because this application is not available on Play Store, but it is quite safe. Do not bother about that. It's, as you can see, HTTPS is quite safer uh, protocol. So just click on the first link, ASQLite Manager 4.7.1 for Android download. And today I will let you know how to uh, create a table and store a data as well as how to run a queries. So that is basically for your query practice because most of the students ha don't have uh, SQL uh, command line or workbench is not installed in their laptops. So this is a quite handy tool to do such types of SQL practice and run MySQL functions, group functions and other things. So very simple, just uh, uh, click on the latest version and uh, download this 490kb file which you can see here. So it takes few minutes to download and now it is showing me I have already downloaded so I am not re-download this, rather I will install this file in my uh, phone. So I will click on install, I will open it, it has been installed now and now I am opening it continue I will give some permission whatever required so now this is the first interface which you are viewing here click on new database so I will assign a database let's say Ceph classes Ceph classes DB okay this is a button a table I can view the table from here views if there is any views I can go from here index or queries this will show you something like you uh, know you can get a place where you can type some queries and all this but you will go here, you have to type on these three dots, click on new table, type the name of the table, let's say I am creating EMP table and then you can see this button cancel add field, ok. So click on the middle button add field and specify the column name or a field name. So this is E number, let it be integer, ok, it should be a primary key, it's not compulsory to have a primary key in a table but it is always good to have as per the normalization rules okay and then go and create another column let's say e name just for the practice otherwise we should have atomic columns but i am going to do that way just to show you and then here you have to choose the data type i am choosing text it is not showing you care where care or kind of things it is simply limited set of data types so i'll click on text and no need to specify the size as well here and uh, okay another field let's say e cell for salary and here i will specify real for floating point values and ok and the last field that is let's take city and that would also be a text ok so far i have created uh, four fields in this table i will press ok so my table emp you can see at the bottom so the question comes sir how to store a data in it so just tap on that particular table as i have just did it and then you can see here these are the column headers new e number e name and e cell city i will press new here so it will ask me the value so i'm just putting a value in it uh, you can do the same thing with the help of insert command but I am just showing you how to insert a data and quickly run the queries because mostly in the paper you have to see the queries. And it has been automatically saved so no need to press any other button to save the data you can view the data like that now we will move on to the query section so just press on the back button and just come to the query section so we can run the query over this table we have an EMP table so just here uh, uh, write the command select asterisk from table name let's say EMP is the table EMP and then you uh, run this command so you can see all the data has been fetched out 
Now suppose if I want to see whether where CT is equal to let's say a ligand and put the quotes here and I will run it again. So it is showing me the data uh, where the CT is a ligand. Hope that it is clear. Similarly, if I want to see the data where the city Chennai is showing me the data of Chennai, let's hope that it is clear to run the queries in it. I can run other commands as well. So let's say select uh, count asterisk. Count asterisk. Okay, similarly, if I want to run uh, minimum salary, give me the minimum salary. Similarly, if I want to see the maximum salary, I will use max e cell. Hope that you can try most of the commands here. And I hope so it is helpful to all of you. Okay, thank you for watching the video.